mid-air scare and emergency landing after a flight took off from Chicago's O'Hare Airport, a passenger losing consciousness. The pilots fearing there could be an issue with cabin pressure, declaring an emergency, descending fast, dropping, as I mentioned, 27,000 feet in just minutes. Tonight, the rattled passengers here and why pilots acted so quickly. ABC's Gio Benitez leading us off. Tonight, a mid-air scare for 75 passengers. SkyWest Flight 5622 from Chicago to Hartford, Connecticut, took off at 931 this morning. But just 40 minutes into the flight, with the plane at 37,000 feet, a passenger becomes ill. The pilot, concerned the illness could be due to a pressurization issue, took no chances, even though there were no cockpit warnings or oxygen masks dropping. He made a steep and fast descent, almost 27,000 feet in just eight minutes. Passengers on board concerned, calling it a nosedive. They asked us to tighten our seatbelts and we basically nosedived um, until we leveled out at 10,000 feet and that was pretty darn scary. The Buffalo Airport ready for an emergency landing. It's going to be gate number four. Inbound flight, unknown medical problem. Just the sense of not knowing what's going to happen to you. Um, I, I don't even know what the feeling of, I can't even remember if I was flying forward or being pushed back. A scare for passengers, but the pilot doing the right thing. If a passenger gets sick and you suspect that one of the things that they need is oxygen and you don't have a bottle back there, the way to get that is to get the airplane physically down, which compresses more uh, air in the cabin. And tonight, that sick passenger was treated and released, and we're told everyone on board is safe, but we're learning the FAA will investigate this incident. David? Gio Benitez, our thanks to you.